Okay, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, taking off these pass-throughs. And as you can see, they're pretty, pretty rough. Some of them are even broken. But we're going to be taking them all off because I have an appointment to take the boat over to get a wrap put on it. So we're going to be putting a wrap on. Uh, the wrap's going to run from the rub rail down to about the water line right here. And it should look pretty good, but I need to get it prepped so that they can put that on there. I don't think I have anything else on the boat other than a vent up front here that needs to come off. Yeah, just this one vent right here. So I just have uh, three pass throughs on each side and that. So I'll pull those off real quick. Okay, so uh, to do these back two pass throughs, we have to come into this compartment here. Everything is really filthy, guys. Both of them just kind of sitting out here in storage for a while now because of the weather. So, um, just take off. We just have to take off this nut here. We have to remove the hose clamps here, and we should be able to pull off that pass through. And then the other one is up here, and I can't physically see it. I'm going to try to turn the camera so you can see it. And pretty much the same thing there, except it's smaller. So that's for this back part. And then on the other back side, the other side on the back, I guess. Similar type deal. Um, we have the nut right here that needs to come loose. And I think that's the only pass through on this side. Let's look on the outside. That is the only pass through on this side. And that pass through is for the scupper is what it's for, uh, for these scuppers here. It just runs the water off the deck straight out of the boat. And then this little one that's on this side actually goes to the bilge pump, which is located down below that hatch down there. Okay, the ones that are gonna be more fun are gonna be these here. Uh, this is about midship. And if we come up here, we see that we have to open this panel here to get down to them. And these go to the drains for, this is the live well here. And then over here, there's a kind of ice box slash fish box. I'm using it for dry storage right now. That's where I keep a lot of my dock lines and stuff. All right, here we are. This is the last time that we will see Serenity looking like this. She's about to go get wrapped. Because we're here at BB Signs and Auto Wrap here in Hutto, Texas. to go looking f beautiful okay we were in a little bit of a hurry at the uh, shop so we didn't get a chance to really like look at it look at it uh, so what we did here is the uh, font here is from the movie Serenity and then the round rock part we did in Star Wars font and even the hull numbers we did in the Star Wars font as well uh, to make it all match 
and then they transferred my registration stickers over for me and got those all squared away but yeah this is uh this turned out really 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 good i'm super excited about it um yeah now i just gotta put the new through hulls on and uh we'll be set of course we cut it off here at the back um i didn't want to pay a whole bunch of extra money to have all this have to go around and all that other crap so um it's just the sides the sides in the front and they put reinforcement on the front by the roller so that it would not have that big of a wear mark on there as uh, they got the, a clear coat over it right here can't really see it in the, the camera very well actually can't see it in person very well but there's they've got a clear coat patch right here so that the roller doesn't mess it up much and of course we're changing this roller out anyway i put a new one on from when i first bought the boat thinking that the problem was the old one was old and as you can see this just completely mangled up as well so i'm gonna go with one of those flat stall ones or not flat but the the bow stop i guess is what they're called i think but yeah so that's it the vinyl is on one step closer to being complete. Oh, one of the other things we did too is we put the Prolon logo back on here, uh, but we made the Prolon logo much smaller. Uh, just, I didn't want to take away from the uh, boat name and everything. So we just kind of made it smaller, but I wanted Prolon to be on here because I mean, it's a Prolon boat. And Prolon boats are badass. So we wanted it there, but that's it. And I guess the next thing we'll do cosmetically We'll eventually get around to repainting all of this and putting new graphics on the cowling there too. All right guys, so that's it. She is uh, wrapped up, looking pretty sexy. So next time we take a trip over there, we'll have to uh, work on doing the pinstriping and some of the other little graphics up here. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you did make sure you smash that like button until next time fair winds and following seas